morning guys i hope you're well and welcome back to a new weekly vlog i'm gonna be chatting a little bit quiet because hells is actually on a work call so i just made myself a coffee and today is tuesday and i'm about to do a filming morning so i'm going to be doing some ways to style so i want to style some leggings knee-high boots that i've just received and yeah i thought that would be quite fun and then also i'm going to be doing a youtube monthly favorites so that's the plan for this morning so as you can see i am super glowy today and glammed up for today's shoot and then later Hells and i are going to go sit in a coffee because coffee shop because we have a house viewing today for this property and yeah we just thought we'd get out of the way and then we've got our friend jemima coming for dinner so a really lovely day Got some really lovely things going on this week so i will definitely take you along for those a few meetings with some lovely lovely people i don't know if i'll vlog it um but i'll kind of like show you the surroundings and kind of go in there and coming back so um yeah i'm ready to get back into the swing of vlogging i feel like i've just been out of it recently just not in the mood and it's been quite a tough month and a bit as well as not only moving out and trying to find somewhere which has been super stressful um luckily we have found somewhere however laurie is currently on a flight to indonesia for a month which is very exciting and like incredible for his work but that means that i have to move us out which is gonna be fine because i have the help of my parents so it will be fine but yeah it's just put another spanner in the work so it's a bit full on in my head at the moment but it's a new day it's a new chapter he's gone today so i'm like right amelia taylor let's do this let's be positive high energy we're gonna get this done and i'm gonna get back into my routine to keep me busy routine meaning reading at night time not watching youtube at night time not going on my phone early in the morning just doing things which are going to really help me really want to go and do a co-box class on sunday as well just little treats like that but things that my body's going to really appreciate so yeah that is my plan of action whilst laurie's away i'm also wearing this super cozy super cozy two-piece from pretty lavish it's just so lovely um and snuggly so it's kind of like a lovely loungewear attire when you're working from home but you still want to feel good um so yeah i'm gonna set myself up in my room to do some filming <laughs> We are surrounded by ladybirds in this house. I don't know why, I don't know if it's like an old building thing, but if you know why we are having so many ladybirds around here, then let me know down in the comments below. Um, because we are literally like, we literally have a home, a family of ladybirds, and it's just, it's cute, but like, they're on my bed and everything. We don't have loads, but I could probably count like five in my room. They're not doing any harm or anything but it's just bizarre i've never really had it i don't think um so yeah, if you know why we've got so many ladybirds let us know if this is a problem and we need to get sorted out okay, so i've just done some filming this morning and had some lunch with house i'm just getting myself ready because like i said we have a house viewing later and we have to be out for three o'clock and house has got a lecture so she's gonna go and go to the coffee shop and i'm gonna join her i'm gonna head off in a bit to go and do a depop drop off because i've got a few more depop products that i am selling I'm just watching this ladybird down here but yeah so anyone who is watching this who did buy some bits and bobs from depot thank you so much for buying from there it's been really helpful to declutter so i'm gonna send off the final bits from that sale and then meet hells in the coffee shop to do a bit of admin have a little coffee and just chill i've got this really snuggly outfit on going for all green this is actually laurie's pangaya jumper that i got him for christmas but as he's away in indonesia i thought i could make use of all his jumpers which is perfect and actually goes really nicely with this coat lining pile down here and the little ladybird but yeah this is a mango coat with the pangaya guy a jumper i've got some talia leggings on with some new balance trainers and my chloe bag so head out in the horrible weather now and yeah do a little bit of admin editing and send off some depot bits <laughs>
good morning guys so it is oh, it's wednesday now i'm just about to head out the door to go to a really lovely breakfast with one of the girls from a pr company called scene they look after like charlotte tilbury tan lux and they are such lovely girls so really excited to go and see them also as well lumine which is an incredible skincare brand Illuminae Nordic. So yeah, so I've literally just got my big cozy jumper on and my hair is slicked back. But yeah, last night was really cute. I'll leave some pictures in. We had one of Hal's friends round. Hal's made a yummy dinner. So that was really lovely just to catch up and have some bubbles. But yeah, gonna head out the door. Thank God it looks sunny. I don't know if to take an umbrella just in case. I'll check the weather, but I think I might bring some sunglasses. But yeah, so I've got my breakfast this morning at Brasserie of Light in Selfridges. I really wanna go and pick up some tights, maybe do a bit of shopping around. Just whilst I'm out, I might as well just do some browsing. I love doing that. And then I have a meeting with a PR company who look after a few clothing houses uh, which have offered to dress me for a fashion show I'm going to on Friday so I might pop along to that today as well but it is in London Bridge so but yeah so I should take you along for the day probably won't show you the meeting maybe show you some pictures of the food um, but yeah let's go into Central <laughs> doing well so coming to you from a Thursday now feeling very very glamorous actually I am doing a job with Jack Wills which is really exciting because I really love where they are going at the moment I just love all their products they're bringing out especially this top this is stunning I'll show you I'll my blazer off to show you what it looks like but it's this gorgeous corset kind of like bardot top and it is so comfortable and if you know me i'm really not into my tight attire but it holds my boobs in so lovely i'm not even wearing a bra i just think it's a really nice top and to casual it down i'm just wearing my um trousers that i got from the h&m showroom just like these really nice like oversized baggy kind of like suit trousers yeah really lovely with some axel arigato trainers and then i'm pairing it with the jack Wills blazer because I'm going to meet up with my friend Soph later to shoot this outfit because it needs to be shot. And then I'm going to wear, I'm going to keep like with that whole grey look. I have got another coat from Jack Wheels, but it doesn't go with the outfit. Um, so I'm going to go grey again because I was tempted not to wear a coat, but it's windy outside. Very windy. And then with my Chanel bag, I'm going to just pair it like that and then just wear some YSL sunnies. So yeah, so I am off to have a meeting with my lovely friend from Clarence, Kate. We're going to spring, actually. I went to spring last year with Laurie and it was absolutely lovely. It's in Somerset House, um, so I'll try and show you some clips. But first off, I really want to head to Arquette in Covent Garden just because I've got a fashion show tomorrow and I really want a trench coat. I have ordered one, but if it doesn't come in time gonna be a problem um but there's a really nice short one from Arquette as well which I really want to go, go and give a go as well and I hear very good things about their stuff so yes yeah, so I am ready to go so let's get to Covent Garden <laughs> I've just got home. I've just actually, well, I've been home for like 20 minutes. Had such a full on day, which was really lovely. Ended up drinking at lunch, which was stunning. So I'll leave some clips in now. Yeah, obviously with like PR meetings and things like that, I don't really get my camera out, obviously, because it's like just not really. I guess it is appropriate, but Kate from Clarence is one of my friends, so I felt like it was fine to take pictures of the food. But it was so, so lovely. We went to spring in Covent Garden Somerset house and I've been there before. I think I said before I went this morning. Laurie and I have been there and it is absolutely stunning if you haven't been it is beautiful there really lovely and we had a couple of couple glasses of bubbles and some lovely fish dishes i am literally falling out of this blouse it's absolutely stunning but 
it's just something I'm not used to wearing. But yeah, no, it was so, so lovely. Really lovely to catch up. I've got some goodies, just some lovely bits, and also a product in there, which I think is under um, embargo. So I won't do an unboxing of those products. But yeah, really lovely to catch up. And then I met up with one of my friends, Sophie, for a quick shoot in Somerset, which was handy. And then yeah, it started to chuck it down on the way home, then my phone died. And then I've just been on a quick event. I just caught the last like 15 minutes of it with a company called Nest, which is from New York. This is what they look like. Beautiful brand and really like interesting fragrances or concoctions of ingredients that I would never put or think about putting into home stuff. So this one is driftwood and chamomile. It's absolutely stunning and you can smell it. It's like really strong. And then I also got a, oh no, sorry. The candle is, is driftwood and chamomile and the diffuser is wild mint and eucalyptus which i would never put two into i'd never put mint or think about putting mint in a candle or a diffuser but it really works it's so refreshing it is beautiful so really glad i got to join in on the end of that it is 20 to 6 now so yeah so my plan of action for tonight is actually to kind of switch off i really want to just like feel energized tomorrow i feel like what i do is i overrun my work day so i kind of wake up and i'll just start like going on instagram and editing photos and planning my day I, like, I don't actually have some like downtime and at night time i do the exact same so it kind of like overlaps with my work and life kind of overlaps and sometimes it can be quite draining i love my job so much and like to call oh, i swear moving house don't do it don't do it oh my goodness why am i leaving my beautiful home but anyway where was i but yeah so i was kindly invited to a company called nest which is founded in new york and the owner was just fabulous her lounge was stunning i just wanted to ask her questions about her living room and the pillows and the the wall art it was so lovely and um yeah just so intrigued and inspired by all the fragrances she's created and i would love to try some more and they just smell wonderful i'm sitting next to one now and it just is like a breath of fresh air it is stunning oh my goodness i'm gonna breathe now Whew. But um, yeah, so the plan of action today, or tonight, I'm not hungry, but I know that I will be hungry, so I might just have like a little salad, make Helen's Jackie P. I've got ironing to do, and um, cleaning my makeup brushes, so all the glamorous stuff, but it's something that I've been leaving like on the side of my bed for so long, we've had people come view the house, and it's just like a pile of my ironing. Oh my goodness, literally, it's just madness, but anyway, yeah. I'm gonna stop talking to you guys and get into my pajamas, I think, take my makeup off, put a Jackie P in for Helena, and um, yeah, and then we'll go from there. And I will do some ironing and some cleaning of my makeup brushes because I haven't done that in a very long time and they are in desperate need of. Um, so, yeah, so I'll catch you guys in a bit. <laughs> quite nice picking up the camera and talking to someone because Helena is currently moving 
her boyfriend let me just set you up helena's currently moving her boyfriend into their place which is really exciting but she's not moving in until next week so i have the weekend to myself which is kind of nice like i always find myself i put myself in this rut where i'm like i really want time on my own i really want to focus on myself a b c d f g and then it gets to it and i'm like i'm so lonely i don't want to do anything and do you know what i don't know if it's just my body like socially crashing like, living with someone is so wonderful and just i'm so 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 grateful sometimes like you know when you're on your own and you just like i feel like you recharge and it's really lovely so i'm taking this weekend to do that this morning actually i'm gonna go and get my passport photo taken and then go meet my friend for a coffee so that'd be really lovely and then also tomorrow i'm doing a co-box class which i'm so excited for so i've got some like really lovely self-loving things to do like i'm not going out drinking and uh, eating loads of crap like I'm really like nourishing my body doing things which are really lovely this morning I actually sat in bed read did some journaling and had a coffee and it was just wonderful and then today I've got something to film after lunch and then yeah and then I'm just going to chill again tonight do some cleaning do a bit of yoga just to get me in a really relaxed mood and then I'm going to just sit in front of the TV have a little stir fry and have an early night because I'm gonna need it for tomorrow because I'm I'm so excited for the class but I'm so nervous as well so I'm gonna make sure I have a big breakfast tomorrow but today I had quite a big pasta bowl last night which was stunning as always your girl's hungry so I'm gonna make myself a smoothie one thing I think I'm going to invest in is a new machine because I think Waiting, well, this is going to die really soon. Laurie, Laurie introduced me to a new word called subsidize. You didn't know already. I am very dyslexic, it actually hurts. <laughs> Obviously, it means that I'm creative in other ways, but yeah, I am super dyslexic. Um, so Laurie introduced me to the word subsidize, which means that you half the thing, so half the price. So obviously he's away. So when he was like, oh, like, if you get anything, just subsidize it, and I was like, Okay. I am kidding, but no, yeah, it was quite funny when he said that. I was like, be careful of your words. <laughs> I think I'm going to make like a berry smoothie today. A bit of potassium, a bit of antioxidants. I'm loving the new, this is from Tesco's. I'm loving the new packaging. It's resillable. You can open it. So yeah, so it got kind of a good day, a lovely day. Weather's calmed down. It was, oh, I can't see, sorry. Weather's calmed down. It was a uh, very windy last yesterday, so I didn't really leave the house. So I think I'm going to take myself on a walk. Um, obviously, go get coffee, socialise. <laughs> so yeah, so today will be a very lovely day. Ah, I put the whole thing in. So I've just put in blueberries, banana, vanilla protein powder, some chia seeds, ginger, and almond butter. delicious so yeah so i did film actually last night i think i'll leave the recipe on the screen whilst i was filming it but i made this spicy pesto pasta it was delicious i was so proud of myself so definitely gonna make that again it's definitely like a taster test which enjoys stuff in my teeth but maybe there's things that i could have like kept in it or like i might change it i put um salt and pepper nuts in there like some almonds and cashews to make it a bit thicker i don't think it needed that i'm just trying to think of like ways to subsidize like maybe too much fat or like too high in calories um or too much in like the carb in the sauce so i could definitely change it for like some avocado or to be fair i didn't actually really need it because i put like a lot of nutritional yeast in there which is quite a thickener so yeah i feel like i still need to play with it and i think i will do a little bit of a chat through with you guys of how i make it but yeah i was really happy with it it was absolutely stunning so mm. so i have half an hour before i need to go and do a photo i'm gonna do my photo booth before meeting up with my friend and then yeah i just need to i think the house is all clean you know when you're like oh so yeah so what i'm gonna do now is i've got some like little ad house admin bits i need to do and then yeah and then i'll head out so i'm gonna drink this and see you in a bit cheers oh she's home and it is freezing outside oh my god it was such a lovely catch up i actually didn't bring my camera with me because silly of me i forgot but i'll leave some 
pictures on the screen i went and did my passport photo which i was very proud of myself for being very proactive with that then purdy and i had a really lovely little matcha and chai latte catch up in the common cafe which was so nice honestly i love that place so much and the matcha there if you are ever in clapham common go to common cafe because the matcha is delicious i just asked for a little dash of honey and it is stunning so i'm home earlier than expected so i'm going to whip out this reel before having lunch and like sitting down because i feel like sometimes when i eat I feel like it makes me really like lethargic so i'm gonna smash it out i've got to do five outfits and show different angles of the outfits i'm gonna do that now and then yeah have some lunch oh okay filmed my video which i am so over the moon about just gonna make some lunch what i did actually which i haven't ever actually done before is plan out how i'm going to film the reel i'll show you actually um so yeah so i kind of planned out how i was going to film the reel i just wrote it down and it just made so much sense to do that i don't know why i've never done that before that sounds so silly but i really like sat down and i like, kind of like went through how i'm going to do the reel and i got really excited knew what i was doing so it just went very quick so I had five, excuse my handwriting, five outfits to do and kind of like a to-do list of how I'm going to do it. So I had the cream lounge outfit on. Um, so I wore that with like outer outerwear first because I wanted to show how I'd do it wearing out. And then I walked into the frame. I did, did, then did a jump transition. So when I jump in the air, I will then transport into the loungewear without the coat. And then I do some details. And then I did some transitions where I'll leave actually i'm gonna leave it here where i like hold it like that and then the next clip will be me in the next outfit pulling the previous outfit off and um, so i did that and the details and just all things like that so it actually worked out really well i just got some like inspo of like what people did for like the magical transitions and then kind of just like jotted it down to see what would work and then i ended up in the my last outfit was these satin pajamas which i love oh my god they're gorgeous but a little bit too big for me so i think my mum will get those and and yeah and then i clicked had a cup of tea and then i just walked off which i thought was a really nice like ending because it's like all pjs and things like that so i started with like outerwear attire and then i finished with like pajamas slippers and a mint tea so yeah really happy with how that went it's one o'clock now just gone past one um so i'm gonna make some lunch i've got a leftover sweet potato so i think i'm gonna make like a little salad and um yeah a little potato salad so that is my potato salad so i've got some lettuce salad leaves tomato cucumber spring onion chili avocado and a chopped up small sweet potato with some balsamic delicious received some lovely orders the first one i received from a company called kinfil i came across that their company a while ago and started following them and just loved their like the aesthetics their story and what they're kind of doing to help to prevent their kind of like a bad impact on the environment if that makes sense um so kinfil is a planet friendly cleaner and 100 percent biodegradable they kindly sent me a starter kit a starter kit innovative cleaning extract so what you do it's kind of like a subscription so it looks like this and um yeah so the starter kit is you get to pick your bottle so pick this one i picked the fragrance uh, husk pine husk and then yeah when you get all your glass bottles you then just end up ordering these and then putting them with water which makes so much sense so it's really good and like less waste of like less waste of packaging and also they look stunning so yeah a massive thank you to uh kinfil for giving me this it's really kind of them i've actually been planning to order from them uh for when i move in with Loz. <laughs> parcel well we all know what this is a delivery from bloom and wild which is so so lovely and i think this is part of their new spring collection i just i absolutely love how they turn up look how pretty flowers are sleeping they're a guide inside to wake them up and then you get all the parcels
Mm, I mean, I'm gonna need a bigger vase. Oh wow, that smells amazing. <gasps> Ooh, that's lovely. That is a fancy spray. They are beautiful. So these are the flowers. So beautiful. So pretty. So I think I'm gonna put them over on that table. Oh, don't they look beautiful? They are absolutely stunning. Oh. So gorgeous. So massive thank you to Bloom and Wild for sending these absolutely stunning spring flowers. They are absolutely stunning. Oh my god. So, so beautiful. So, um, I think, I don't know if I've been given a discount, but yeah, they kindly sent these to me, um, as a gift. But if, yeah, if I have a discount or anything, I'll just leave all the information down below. But also as well, if you haven't shopped with Bloom and Wild before, they have some beautiful array of bouquets and letterbox bouquets that you can send to yourself or your loved ones. So, um, yeah, I'll leave them down below. But, oh, I absolutely stunning okay gonna do a little wind down now i just cleaned the bathroom sorry if the noise is too loud but yeah i just cleaned the bathroom which feels amazing it was just one of those tasks i needed to do so now i'm gonna have a shower and then just because i've just cleaned the bathroom and i feel a bit like grubby and then I'm gonna do a bit of yoga, and then I'm gonna cook some dinner, and then I need to watch Graham Norton, and just another movie, and might do some like interior mooching. Um, so yes, yeah, so I thought I'd get unready with you. So first off, I'm going to be using this cleanser. This is the Clinique Take. Clinique Take the day off. It's still light outside, which is so nice because it feels early, but it's not. It's five o'clock. So on a Saturday, on a chilled Saturday night, I want to get chilled now. So it comes in like a balm and you can see I've just been making a hole in one area. <laughs> oh bless myself. Um, but yeah, I'm really enjoying this actually. I think it's actually a really nice product. So it's just like a oil and you just prop it and massage it in. I like to do two cleansers as well. I feel like that's really helped my skin. And I've been using a different cleanser because this is an oil and as much as it's really lovely I'm too scared to have this left on my skin if that makes sense so I go in with a gel cleanser just to make sure it lifts this oil off and um, helps my skin but this is just the most wonderful balm to take your makeup off so you just proper massage it and then I look stunning have a cloth I just use any reusable I've got like a pile of reusable cloths get it damp just it melts that's the first cleanse done and then i'm gonna go in with my second cleanse and i've been trialing out the cerave this is the cerave sa smoothing cleanser and it's got silic acid in it yeah it's got salicylic acid which is really good for people who have blemishes it's just really good at keeping your skin nice and clean but I also found this one not as easy to take your makeup off, so I like to use this as my second cleanser. It may sound bougie that I have two cleansers for my makeup removal, but I do wear makeup every day, all day. Um, so I think it's really important to get some really nice products onto my skin to help remove it. Also as well, the, uh, the CeraVe is actually quite affordable. I think that was eight pounds. It's a really good high street brand. Okay, that's makeup removed. I'm gonna have a shower now. Um, so I'll catch you in a bit. Okay, I'm out of the shower now and fresh face. I'm gonna be putting some of my night skincare on. I'm gonna try the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate Concentrate Oil. Apparently, this is like incredible. So I'm gonna put that on. It smells incredible like one of the products why like pills is so famous it's because of this then i'm gonna put on some i'm just gonna do some moisturizer actually tonight if i've got that on i don't want to mix it with anything too extravagant i'm gonna be putting on my dr sam's uh moisturizer and then some estee lauder advanced recovery eye cream oh also as well some elizabeth arden eight hour cream lovely stuff lovely 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 stuff so now i think i'm gonna do a bit of yoga because 
I can and it's a Saturday night. Okay, like I said, I'm going to be doing a Pilates class and and kindly I've been introduced to the Pilates class by Jackie Kingswell. She kindly gave me a subscription which was really lovely and I am completely and utterly obsessed and this is why I wanted to come on here and quickly share with you what it is. As it says on the screen, the Pilates class and it has a massive variety of different durations, tight like intensities. So obviously I'm going to go for chilled and I want to do like a, I don't really want to do a massive long one, maybe an evening one, sorry for the parakeets. Um, but you've got like relaxing anxiety, mind and body and relax, body love. So I'm going to do one of these and um, yeah, intensity, chill, goal is to relax and you can just do all of that. So yeah, really good. So I think I might do the 12 minute recovery and gentle movement because it's only 12 minutes long so this is my little setup so i'm going to do this now we are So I'm having frozen yogurt, which I froze myself and it's got a little bit hard, but quite nice to just pick up with some frozen berries and peanut butter. And I'm going to eat this whilst watching Tick Tick Boom. So I will see you guys. <laughs> to buy my mum some bowls I absolutely love it here so the set all together is 30 pounds and she got this for me but now she wants it so I'm gonna grab it for her birthday but it's so pretty in here I love it but I don't think I'm gonna buy anything until I like officially moved in because then it means there's more stuff to carry and that is a fact I'm nice and showered fresh face my night skincare routine on i've also put a olaplex mask on my hair so i'm looking absolutely stunning but hells and i i just came back from co box and then hells and i went for a little doggy walk with the girls i'm in my pjs and my jumper oh my god i look quite rough but we're gonna do some bubbles now because we've still got some champagne left over from lil and we are also going to kind of go through the cupboards and start doing a little bit of like storage organizing see which is whose and stuff like that because hell is moving out next week and then yeah we're gonna put on a roast dinner and just have a cute cute final last sunday roast in this house which is very sad um but bittersweet as i keep saying but yeah so yeah gonna go and get some glasses and bubbles this is the was it the tipple of the hour yeah this is i think was this the last one we picked in my bin it was on the, the last day and we kind of saw the branding was like, oh, that's bougie. I feel like at the end, we ended up just, we just went for it. And we yeah. just kept buying everything. We're like, we want this one and this one. And the fun one. But like, we like this. It looks pretty. We like trying to get some cleanings. Shut up, Is that bad? Maybe it's just cool, but it's fine. <laughs> that was an anticlimax. <laughs> oh, we're all good. I think you were just professional. Profession I was just, I just did it too fabulous. And we are done. Look how stunning this is. So we've got mm, sausages, butternut squash, carrots, onions. We've got some red cabbage. Literally saute it with balsamic vinegar and paprika and all the greens and the bubbles. That's all. Look at all of our flowers. Cheers, oh, darling. Gonna cry. What a fabulous fucking year we've had. Don't cry. I'll cry. This is. Good morning, guys. So it is Monday now, and I've just got myself all snuggled up because I'm actually on my way to have a facial done. I'm going to a place called Skinworks and they do a new drainage facial 
what I'll do is I'll leave the full descriptions in the description box below. But I've been to them a couple of times and they're really lovely. One thing that I am going to be honest about, which I think it's just my skin and I'm very sensitive, is that they do a extract. They do like a quite hands-on extract of like blackheads and spots. And as much as I desire that, because that's just something that I love getting done, I think my skin is too sensitive for it. Unless I was going through like really bad skin days then. As you can see, I've got no makeup on, just some lipstick. Excuse me, parakeets. Um, but it really, my skin I think is really too sensitive for that type of process. So, or that technique. So I think I'm going to ask them just to avoid that. And I will do my pores and my blackheads with my toner. I use a Ren Skincare AHA toner, which is like an acid exfoliation, which is supposed to be really gentle for extracting pores um, and blackheads. So yeah, I think that's just one thing I'm just going to ask to avoid because my skin is just super, super sensitive when it comes to breaking out. So yeah, so I think that's just one thing I've just learned with my skin and is to just leave it if I'm gonna have anything probably maybe major is like a pill i think that my skin's fine with that it's just something being too like invasive my skin's a bit too delicate for it but anyway i digress so yeah so that's just something i've learned with my skin over the maybe like the year is just learning what my skin is like everyone's skin is different so yeah i'm gonna ask if i can just avoid that but i'm really excited for this facial because other than the extraction the facial itself is just stunning really relaxing and i'm very very grateful that i get to do that on a really nice cold monday morning so that's where i'm heading to now it's in soho so a really good central place if you're looking for a tree after work yeah really lovely so i'm gonna head there now i just washed my hair as well yesterday as you saw i did a treatment i did a philip king mask which I talk about within my hair routine video which I'll leave on the screen and down below if you want to go and check what I, what I do with my hair but um yeah really snuggled up because it's it's mild but it's really windy and I feel like the wind is super cold so I'm just wrapped up in my comfies I'll show you what I'm wearing I'm wearing my acne scarf Pauline bag because it matches my trainers these River Island trousers which are just so comfy and I just love the paneling 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 and then i've got a white zip knitted jumper on from i think that's from fourth and reckless as well i'll find the links for them or similar and then my ganny sunnies for when i am seeing people <laughs> no one can see me with my naked face lovely no i just want to go to bed but it's only monday morning oh, oh that was so stunning so i will leave them down below because that was just wonderful did lots of cleansing detoxifying lymphatic drainage and also reduced like all the stuff like clogged up in my pores so i feel super fresh now i'm going to waddle home <laughs> oh, that was so lovely but yeah skin works i'll leave them down below Leftover gravy made to be a katsu. How else is dishing away? Stunning! Oh. oh, absolutely stunning, my love. Delicious. Oh, some pickled cucumber and radish we've made. Lovely. Finish it off, darling. That is Monday night. <laughs>